Good afternoon. Today we'll be discussing an introductory biology question regarding complementary base pairing. And the question reads, says, what would the complementary strand for the DNA double helix sequence that follows be? And explain your response with detail. And then we're given the following sequence from five prime to three prime. We read thymine, adenine, cytosine, guanine, cytosine, cytosine, thymine. Now, even though this question is really just asking for the complementary strand, the firm foundation of this question is DNA synthesis, because complementary base pairing doesn't exist without DNA synthesis. So let's just take a look at this figure real quick. And this is just a very simple DNA synthesis figure I pulled off of Google earlier. And notice you have your parent DNA double helix split in two, right? So we have two strands here. And highlighted in black, you notice both of these act as parent strands or coding strands or template strands. You'll hear all of those terms to describe the model. And then we're adding our strands here. And so to put this in the context of this question, the strand that we're given, right, the five prime to three prime beginning with TAC, that will belong on this parent strand right here. And it's even labeled for us, three prime. So we know that the TAC GCCT would start at this direction and move in this direction. So it'd be TAC GCCT running five prime to three prime. So that's just to put this in the context of what the question is asking, because it's very easy to see this as just a series of letters, though we know it's not just letters, right? Those actually represent tides. So now that we have this in context, we know that we'll be adding from five prime to three prime because DNA synthesis always occurs from five prime to three prime. And we wanna know what basis DNA polymerase is adding to this parent strand in order to create what we know as the complementary strand. That is the big question that will fill in this gap right here. And so the rule that we're going to adhere by is complementary base pairing. And notice I've made it very simple for us. We have purines and pyrimidines. Those are the two classes of nucleotides that we're primarily concerned about right now. And in purines, we have adenine and guanine. And I'm not gonna go too much into the biochemical structure of purines, but just know that they're a little bit bigger than pyrimidines are. And so you have your big purines, which are adenine and guanine, and then you have your smaller pyrimidines, which are thymine and cytosine. And if we were talking about RNA, I would also mention uracil, but as of now, we're only discussing DNA, so we're only going to worry about thymine and cytosine. And it's, I mean, to me, a pretty cool concept. Adenine, if acting naturally, will always bond to thymine. And guanine, if acting naturally, will always bond to cytosine. And so let's just return to our DNA synthesis template. DNA polymerase is essentially fulfilling the wishes of every single nucleotide on this parent strand. So if DNA polymerase comes across an adenine on the parent strand, then it's going to find a thymine hanging out somewhere in the cytosol and attach it right there. And that's the way it works. Polymerase is essentially fulfilling what we know as complementary base pairing every single time. And that we do see differences. There are exceptions. We call those exceptions mutations, and they're not normal. So let's just return to our question here. I'm going to erase this question mark because we're about to fill in this answer. We know that this question is really asking which nucleic acids is DNA polymerase going to from the five prime to three prime direction during DNA synthesis in order to create the complementary strand. Notice how all of this context plays into the answer of this question. So I should have this all figured out here. So we're gonna work from five prime to three prime. And if I have thymine here, remember thymine always seeks adenine, cytosine, would seek guanine, guanine, guanine would seek cytosine, Cytosine would seek guanine, adenine would seek thymine, and thymine would seek adenine. Oops, well, you can tell that's an adenine. And that's it, that's the answer to this question. Now remember when you report this answer, you always report from five prime to three prime. So A, G, G, C, G, T, A. 
is the answer to this question. Thank you.